In this class, we will continue our discussion of multiple regression by focusing on two new statistics associated with this procedure. In bivariate regression, we use the coefficient of determination, or R squared, to indicate the proportion of variance in the criterion predicted by the predictor. In multiple regression, we use big R squared, or the coefficient of multiple determination, to answer the same question. Let's say we found big R squared equal to 0.35 for the example we cited earlier in which intimacy, income, and, and anxiety were used to predict scores on a measure of life satisfaction. We would interpret this finding by saying that the model predicted 35% of the variance in the criterion or 35% of the variance in life satisfaction scores. Let's learn more about the coefficient of multiple determination by returning to our example from the last class. When we last saw this slide, we said that B, or the partial regression coefficient, was determined by the unique ability of its predictor to predict variance in the criterion. Thus, the B associated with X2 corresponds to the overlap of X2 with Y that does not also overlap with x1 and x3. In contrast, big R squared equals the total overlap of the model with the criterion. It adds in all areas of overlap, the areas that are unique to individual predictors, here represented by u1, u2, and u3, and the areas that are redundantly predicted by the predictors, represented here by G and H. So big R squared is the proportion of total variance in Y that is predicted by the model. In contrast, the proportion of total variance in Y not predicted by the model is the coefficient of multiple alienation. Thus, from the standpoint of multiple regression, we partition total variance in the criterion into the portion we can predict, which is equal to big R squared, and the proportion we cannot predict, which is equal to one minus big R squared. To summarize, big R squared provides information about how well the model predicts the criterion, while B provides information about how well individual predictors uniquely predict the criterion. 